Hi friends, so in this video, so I am demonstrating a horsey drain working model and how we are going to explain this working model in your science exhibition. The first you should clearly tell about your title of your project in your exhibition which is in this case is horsey drain working model. And the second thing you should explain your exhibition is what is the purpose of your project which is horsey drain working model. The main purpose of this working model to explain the concept of horsey drain which is very complex uh, in nature and which is a very complex uh, environmental issue as well these days. Because of this acid rain, our environment is getting polluted and uh, this model is going to help us to have a hands-on experience uh, on how the overall chemical process is happening that is going to lead uh, this acid rain formation. That is very crucial. People should understand because of what reason we are getting this acid rains these days. What causes this acid rain? Everything we can easily get to know by demonstrating this uh, acid rain working model. So in order to demonstrate uh, acid rain working model, what we should do is we should uh, implement few things. One is we should have some factories. So we have defected uh, factories using cardboard and we have built a cardboard here and we have kept the LED lights as well so that uh, it looks very beautification of these uh, factories as well where uh, which emits uh, pollution as well in terms of uh, gases if you can see here right we are defected by putting uh, LED lights there so that uh, it glows that means there is a pollution is happening on each and every factory now once the pollution is happening, if you can see right, that goes onto the environment, which get mixed with other things and that creates a problem here. So if you can see right, one side what we have done here is uh, we have kept the cloud because we wanted to demonstrate a raining in this situation. We have kept the cloud and also that cloud is connected with a water pump because we have to depict as a rain here the rain is getting pumped from the water which is kept behind this model when the water is getting poured which acts like a rain when it rains if you can see right that rain will have h2 so4 hno3 these are the some of the complex uh, chemical uh, combination which is very dangerous for uh, human being and it's very dangerous for the plants animals as well by having that kind of uh, rains which is going to fall on the earth if you can see right our plants getting destroyed our trees getting destroyed our animals and human beings will get on because of this acid in nature we are emitting uh, no2 and so2 from the, our factories when we are trying to emit this kind of polluted uh, materials no2 and so2 which is very deadly combination when we have this kind of uh, chemicals which we pro produce uh, as a pollution that will lead to a big disaster which is uh, H2SO4 plus NH plus HNO3 kind of uh, chemicals composition that is going to lead to very dangerous situation to our environment we can see right because of that the plants will die when plants will die animals won't have anything to eat then animals will die when animals are not there then there is a complete imbalance is going to happen in our uh, environment or our biodiversity because of that we should uh, avoid the pollution which is air pollution which is coming out of the factory or even from our vehicles as long as we are trying to make uh, less polluted po less polluted our environment definitely we will get a good uh, rainy season we get a good rain water otherwise we end up getting this acid rain only which is very dangerous for human being animals as well as plants as well which is completely very problematic for our complete biodiversity. 